Hi, this is Stephen from Fated Crossings, and now is the time to talk about the moon in Scorpio. And as usual, with my astrology practice, I deal with both modern astrology and uh, traditional astrology, which is the astrology of the medieval period and earlier. And when we're dealing with the moon in Scorpio, um, the traditional approach gives us kind of practical fact-based interpretations and the modern perspective gives us more of a psychological viewpoint as to the moon in Scorpio. So we'll try to cover both of these areas. Uh, first of all, dealing with the medieval or the traditional um, interpretation of the moon in Scorpio, we are actually thinking of a moon that is ruled by Mars. The moon is traveling through the domicile of Mars when she is in Scorpio and uh, it is a Martian moon, a moon filled or redolent with the influence of the god of war. <clears throat> and so the medieval astrologers of Persia and the uh, Middle East and, and the, the, the Greek-speaking uh, world of the Mediterranean and the medieval Europeans, these astrologers uh, would say that when the moon is in Scorpio, she's similar to the moon in Aries in the sense that the individual, the native, will uh, be full of kind of a temper, will have a temper on them, a rather stubborn sort of anger. One author describes the moon in Scorpio as uh, producing a person who is on fire. And there's also this notion that uh, such a moon will mix a person up with Mars types of people, such as uh, athletes or police officers, or criminals. Um, the the uh, one phrase of, the Lat of, of a Latin text, the text that was originally written in Arabic but then translated into Latin, says, uses the phrase pro male ambulantibus, uh, walking around towards or, or on behalf of bad things or bad people. And very often I see this show up in my practice. It's not so much that the individual herself or himself uh, is a criminal, or is a police officer, or is an athlete, although those things can certainly happen. But there are often um, these types of Mars-based people mixed up in the individual's life. So the traditional viewpoint also gives us this idea that when the moon is in Scorpio, she is in full, and based upon her house position, uh, will be saying something rather stressful or difficult about the topics of that house. So if the moon in Scorpio is in the ninth house, then she'll be describing a ninth house person who is controversial or countercultural or perhaps uh, of low confidence, uh, things of that nature. If the moon in Scorpio is in the fifth house, then she'll be saying something negative or stressful about the person's pleasures or about their children because these are topics of the fifth house. So this kind of gives us in a nutshell um, some practical uh, interpretations of this moon um, in a person's birth chart. But the modern approach is, again, more psychological. And when we have someone, when we are confronted with someone who has this particular moon, then we are dealing with someone who is going to react very intensely, very passionately. And yet, because it's Scorpio, a fixed sign, then... Uh, the emotions will be rather controlled. They'll be very intense because uh, Scorpio is either a Mars sign or Pluto sign, depending on how you deal with Scorpio. Uh, but these intense emotions will be rather tightly controlled um, and will be kind of kept secret. Secrecy is an important keyword for Scorpio. So someone with the moon placed here is going to have a natural uh, ability to, to keep secrets, they're going to uh, be a, probably a secretive person, they're going to have an instinct for a secrecy, and, and this concept of keeping secrets is going to build up their, their uh, sense, their air of mystery, and their, their uh, attractiveness to other people will be kind of founded upon this uh, mystique, this, this uh, secretiveness, produced by this profundity of feeling. That the, that the moon in Scorpio has. Scorpio is very penetrative. It wants to penetrate reality, penetrate uh, experiences. And so when the moon is placed here, there is not only an instinct for uh, 
deeply penetrating uh, life experiences, there is a need to do so. And the reason the Scorpio moon wants to penetrate reality, penetrate uh, the, the life experiences that it, that, that it encounters, the reason it wants to do this is so that it can understand what's motivating everybody else. It wants to understand what's motivating you, what's motivating all the people around them. And this, this need to, to apprehend people's motives produces uh, this, this uh, impulse to, to penetrate the person's life somehow. And a lot of times with the moon in Scorpio, uh, this desire to understand what's motivating everybody else leads to kind of a, a paranoia. A fearful imagining, like what is what is driving this person, and that you know the moon in Scorpio might might think the worst here, might come up with the worst case <clears throat> scenario. So again, intensity of emotion. Scorpio is a, is definitely a match for deeply felt, intense, passionate emotions, and because it's the moon we're talking about here, then the individual is going to feel nurtured when he or she experiences this profundity of emotions, when the person is giving intense emotions or receiving them, either or, the person is going to feel nurtured. Which, if you don't have a moon in Scorpio, this might not make sense. This might sound alien. alien. Like, why on earth would anyone feel nurtured when they're on the receiving end of intense, passionate emotions or when they're doling them out? Well, if you have a moon in Scorpio, then you probably would understand um, this moon fears losing control. Uh, and for that reason, th that's one of the reasons why Scorpio kind of represses its emotions and does not want to display them. Um, they can be feeling these very intense emotions, but will not display them nine times out of ten because they do not want to expose their vulnerability. They do not want to uh, seem as if they are losing control. So, the the chaos of their emotions, these constantly churning emotions, actually feed into the person's self-image, um, because the the moon is here and the moon is your your self-image. So these uh, turbulent emotions can sometimes weaken the self-image or uh, undermine it. Uh, so sometimes the Scorpio moon can have negative emotions, which uh, weaken the individual's confidence. Um, and that's something that, um, the, you know, can, can, can be a source of uh, deep, shall we say, pain for the person who has Moon and Scorpio. But again, because it's a Mars sign, these people are going to be fighters. They're going to be full of spirit. They're going to have a fighting spirit. Um, and even though they don't display their emotions, again, because they don't want to seem vulnerable, they're still going to be influenced by these emotions. Um, and as a result, the personality usually tends to be rather tough, kind of a tough uh, personality that is dogged, that does not give up, very tenacious, we might say. And it produces a lot of ambition, again, because of the influence of Mars. I know a lot of people with Moon and Scorpio who have a rather, prof a rather uh, nicely defined competitive spirit um, because uh, they kind of overestimate themselves. You know, they can sometimes bite off a little bit more than they, than they can chew because they overestimate their abilities. They have this desire to compete. And so this can lead to some of the ruthlessness that, that Pluto and Scorpio are, are famous for. Um, usually they are very blunt types of people, very tact, probably, I mean, very tactless, probably a little bit more so than the rest of the water signs. Um, very kind of upfront, and, and um, I would say they do love the truth, but maybe not always telling the truth. Let's remember, Scorpio wants to keep secrets, and um, it will resort to deception in order to keep secrets if it has to. Yet it will insist that you be one hundred percent truthful with it. That's the thing about Scorpio; um, it loves the truth. From other people, um, but maybe not so much from itself. Nevertheless, you know, uh, this doesn't mean to imply that the person can't be truthful, but the um, penchant for keeping secrets often leads to uh, some deceptive qualities sometimes. Um, 
in again, Scorpio being a Mars sign is going to be sort of oriented towards um, existence, fighting for survival, struggling to exist, wanting to pioneer. But we have to remember, this is a nocturnal type of a Mars, not the daytime Mars that is uh, associated with Aries. So it's a nocturnal Mars, a little bit more um, yin-based than, than, than Aries, and attracting all kinds of people and experiences to it. So these are just a few superficial thoughts about the moon in Scorpio. Um, again, the moon is in fall here, and it makes sense because Scorpio is not necessarily a lunar type of a sign. You know, uh, so when the moon, again, is placed here, she is hosted by Mars. She is um, in the sign of Mars and she becomes a Mars based moon. Now, for men, this definitely has ramifications for marriage and relations with women because the moon is uh, a significator of important women in a man's chart, in a woman's chart for that matter. But when we're talking about males and uh, their their marriages, then Moon and Scorpio has to be considered as um, maybe, I don't want to say a dark mark against marriage, but there's certainly going to be some struggles in the married life. Um, with that said, the person oftentimes, uh, once they get a, a girlfriend or a spouse, they want to stick with that person because the Moon is in a fixed sign. Um, nevertheless, the Moon in Scorpio says something um, difficult about a male's spouse uh, on occasion. It's not a uh, written in stone. It's not a hard and fast rule, but you have to be open to the possibility. So do you have a moon in Scorpio? Do you know anybody with a moon in Scorpio? Um, feel free to drop some comments below to let me know your experiences. I'm always interested in hearing um, about your chart and your experiences with uh, other people who might have some of the astrological features that I'm discussing at the moment. And uh, if you would like to reach out to me, feel free to write Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, at Faded Crossings. All right, we'll see you uh, next time where, where I'll be talking about the moon in Pisces.